Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your bot automatically deploy to fly.io every time you push to github. In the previous video, I showed you how to host your bot on fly.io, including creating the docker file and the fly.toml file that you'll need to host your bot. This video assumes you've already done those steps and your docker file and fly.toml file are committed to github. Now the first thing you'll need to do in order to set up this github action is to get an authorization token from FlyCTL. So you'll need the FlyCTL command line interface installed, which you installed in the previous video, and run FlyCTL auth token. This will give you a string that will let you access your projects. You should not share this token with anyone since it will allow you to push to your account. So now you want to copy this token and open up your GitHub repository. The first thing you'll need to do is go to settings and then click on secrets, then actions, then create a new repository secret. For the name, you will put fly API token. For the value, you will paste the code we got from running flyctl auth token. Add this as a secret, and now we'll see it appears in the repository secrets at the bottom of the page. Now all that's left is to add the workflow to a repository. I'm going to start with the one that they have as an example on the fly.io documentation. You can find us at fly.io slash docs and clicking on the guide for deploy with GitHub Actions. You'll also be able to find my version of the workflow in the description of this video. So I'm going to copy this to start off with. And you're going to need to create a folder called .github if you haven't already. And inside this .github folder, you want to create another folder called workflows. Now inside this workflows folder, you want to create a file, and you can call it anything you'd like, but we'll call it fly.yml. And paste this code. Now one change I'll make to this file. Now you'll notice that here it says on push, this will run. Now this includes if you're pushing to a pull request, and not just pushing to main, so that's probably more than what you really intend. So if you're using pull requests with your project, you probably want this to be more specific. So I'm going to change this to be on, and then a new line push, then branches, and then main. If you're using a different default branch, you can change that here. You can use master instead of main, Although on GitHub, the default branch is going to be called main if you created the repository recently. So now you'll see in this action it has two steps. One is to check out the repository. You can use v3 instead of v2 in this workflow, although it doesn't really make much of a difference. v3 is just a newer version. And you'll see that it's using superfly flyctl actions, set up flyctl as an action and then it runs flyctl deploy after the necessary setup. So this is all we need to make it automatically deploy to fly.io every time we push to our main branch. All we have to do now is push this to our GitHub repository. So I can come over here and say added fly.yml, commit and sync changes. I'll make sure that this is pushed to main Now you can come over here and look at the GitHub Actions tab to see the status and click over here and you can see that it's deploying the app right now and it's done. So now we can go back to our tutorial bot on fly.io on our dashboard and see that there was a release one minute ago. And that's it. Now every time I push to my GitHub repository, this GitHub action will run and deploy my current project to fly.io. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.